What is happening? This is your boy Matthew Blackburn here. Getting to take around one of my favorite little rides. This little scoot scoot Vesper. Nothing beats it. Nothing makes you happier than scooting around. Man, I love scooting around. What got me into it so much is my wife, her whole family, the Baker clan, they have tons of scooters. So even when we started dating, I knew that the scooter was going to be part of our life. And man, it's so much fun. I can't drive around a scooter without smiling. It's so goofy. That's what I love about it. it like, it's hard to look super cool in it, but it is kind of cool in its own way. You got this big, goofy helmet, it makes your head look all big. I love it. And so I have so many great memories where I'm like down, where I just jump on the scooter and go around town. I can't help but just smile and let people laugh at me. But some of my best memories of the scooter is actually not sitting in the driver's seat, it's sitting in the passenger seat. Like uh, after I got married, we, me and my wife scooted off and I was in the back because she's a lot better scooter driver than I am. And actually uh, the first time I was ever on a scooter, I was riding in the back. I was visiting Sarah Jane at Chapel Hill and uh, she got me tickets to go to the, the UNC basketball game. And I was so pumped. I'd never been to one of those games. And I remember right before it was time to go to the game, I was looking at my watch like, man, we got to get, get there. The game is about to start. She says, oh, it takes me no time at all to get there on my moped. And so I was like, all right. I was trusting her, but she was right. Soon enough, when it was time to go, we jumped on the, we jumped on the scooter. I got on the back, and we started scooting down. And one of the reasons it didn't take us long is she could weave in and out of the traffic. And actually, there's this one stretch where everyone uh, who was in a car was just stuck in traffic, and she could squeeze by the cars and the side mirrors on either side but it was like literally no space in between us and these mirrors and I was nervous and so I kept on like wanting to peer and make sure we don't uh, hit anything and, and because I couldn't see because her helmet's right in my face and uh, every time I would do that she would yell at me goes don't lean don't lean and I just because I was going to throw her off she was about to hit something so anyway we get to the game we didn't wreck at all I learned my lesson. I can't lean at all. You know, you got to just trust the driver. On the way back home, that's what I did. I didn't worry about what if she was going to hit something or not. I just enjoyed the ride. It was awesome. And, uh, you know, not worrying uh, about things we can't control is, is something that's really tough for us to overcome. But it is, if people have faith, um, we can't help but know this is part of who we're meant to be. Uh, Jesus talks about we shouldn't worry about things. Uh, let tomorrow uh, be the worries of tomorrow, but today let us be in this present time. And I think we always need to have that on forefront, not to succumb to fear and to be overwhelmed by worries about things we can't control, but trust and hope. Um, and it's not just something for us to say, oh, it will take care of itself. No, we're, we have to deal with our problems, but we don't have to necessarily worry about them. And, and by doing so, we get to... Um, have the power of the moment, that we get to always stay in the moment. Uh, so this week, I hope we guys can stay in the moment together. I hope that we don't get so nervous about uh, where we're going or, or the, the troubles might, might come our way that we're leaning and looking out. So I hope we get to stay in the moment and be 100% present because that's who we're called to be as people of faith. Love you guys.